Are you there? Is it on? Is it recording? Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Mess. My name is Jake, also known as Blanky for Life. And this right here is Mr. Triangle. I have featured him in some of my other videos. This is Pedateridium crossed with Clarinervium. Now he is a very special boy because of the shape of his leaves. He actually looks a little bit like a very rare Anthurium known as Delta Force, and I have a video on the Delta Force. If you're not familiar with it, I will leave a link to that below. What we are going to do is propagate him. I know that you guys love to interact with my Anthurium videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's keep doing it. I feel like people love propagating their philodendrons, but then people get really scared when it comes to the Anthuriums. We need our shears, got the shears right here. And we need a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel. And we are going to just disinfect it. I don't know where my lighter is though. It's like MIA at the moment. I, for I forgot where I, I placed it. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is unpot and to see what we're working with. So let me give you guys a little close-up look. I'm going to step onto the pan. Because <laughs> we're cooking anthuriums tonight, baby. So yeah, you can't really see because there's just so much algae in there. It's very, very dark. You can kind of see some roots in there. He's got a couple of roots that have rotted away. So like, it's time for him to be repotted. I want to see what's going on down here. I also want to propagate him because I want to share him with other people because he's a very, very special boy. When you are unpotting an anthurium, you just want to very gently remove it like it's a sleeping bebe. That is how I refer to my root systems for my plants. I try to treat them like they are sleeping babies. Rock my baby. Well, that song is terrifying. Let's not sing that song. Oh, okay. Ugh. Wait, hold on. I think I have to, I think I have to wake the baby a little bit. Ugh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 he's like, oh, mama, I can breathe again. Woo! I am just going to pick away this loose substrate. Just very, very gently. This is the time where you put on the podcast. This is podcast time. Oh, sorry to get back here. So, yes, this is podcast time. This is, you know, put on your favorite movie or TV show or whatever. And just take your time. You want to take your time doing this, people. You don't want to break those roots, disturb them uh, any more than you have to. You just want to take your time doing That's what I'm going to do. There he is, guys. He is up and at him. He is awake. He's like, what are you doing to me? So let's take a look at the stem. Look at this tree chunk I got to work with here. So if I turn him around, I can make a cut at the bottom right about there. I think that'll be a really good place to cut. That is the leaf that I bought it with. This was the new leaf at the time I bought it, like two, three years ago. This was the leaf that made me say, I want that plant. I mean, look at that sinus. There's no sinus. <laughs> so let's get our shears. Oh, by the way, look at those roots. They're just wrapping around and around and now they're just hanging down. So I'm looking for a spot in the stem of the plant where the bottom cut is going to have a lot of roots. Obviously, look at this thing. But the top is also going to have roots. So you want to cut below roots. Do you see how there's roots up here? We want to cut below those roots because we want all these big leaves to still have a substantial root system. So that is what we are working with. That's what we're trying to do. I'm going to have to kind of dig in there. But here we go, guys. Oh, and he's out. He's officially two plants. And now we just have to very gently take this little piece out, guys. Take this little piece out with all those roots. We want to keep as many of those roots as we can. That's why when you propagate a plant, you want to only propagate it if it has a nice, strong, big root system. Because inevitably, guys, you're going to lose roots. You are going to lose roots. It's just reality, guys. It's going to happen. It's okay. It's okay as long as you have a big root system so that if it loses like a quarter of its roots, let's say, which would be a lot, it still has plenty of roots, guys. Oh, and look at this. Oh my God, this, this root is gigantic. Oh, oh, by the way, in my last video, several months ago when I propagated him and I gave it to my friend, that propagation is doing very, very well. 
So just a very happy little update on that. Oh guys, this root system is just maniacal. This root system should have been paying rent a long time ago. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Knocking into stuff. Wow, that's a lot of root. That's a lot of root. You don't even need all that root, I don't think. <laughs> that's a lot of root. That's a lot of root. <laughs> Guys, they do not want to separate. <laughs> oh my God, whose root is whose? You better be recording. What am I even doing on YouTube? Who? How you doing, guys? Don't mind me. I'm just doing stuff off camera. But now you can look at my beautiful face. Oh! As I perform surgery, because I'm a mad scientist performing surgery. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there's the leaf right there, and there is the stem. Now, actually, I think I'm going to cut off this root because it's too high up. I think you want the roots to be below the leaf. This root, it's just, it's right up on the top where the cut is, so it's, it's very likely that it's going to die off anyway. And like I said, guys, there's plenty of root to work with, so I'm gonna separate this guy if he wants to, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to. What the heck? They're conjoined. They're conjoined! What are you doing? What are you do, like, sir? Sir, like what? Okay, you know what? There we go, okay, right? Yes, okay, so we're going to cut all this off. Goodbye, thank you for doing what you were supposed to do. But yeah, all that root, it's a lovely root, but it's gotta go. Before I start repotting, let's see, can I, can I, propagate him again. Does he have enough root to support him? Okay, people, look at this right here. I untangled him. Again, very gently, I took my time. Look at this. Can I, wait a minute. People, you just need to understand, he is probably like, f almost five feet tall. I know you can't see, but then there's the rest of the plant. Standing like that, look at all those roots. And it looks like, guys, I can make a cut. I can make one more cut. Now, I can understand why people would be intimidated because yes, they are very, very compact. But as long as you got roots to work with, you're good, people. You're good. You just gotta cut below a node and above a leaf. That's what you gotta do, baby. Okay, guys, we're gonna be really daring. We're gonna make a cut right there. You just gotta trust me when I say right there, right there. So I'm just gonna go for it and I'll show you on the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, so this giant thing up here, all these leaves, has this root system. I mean, that's fine, but you know what, guys? I think I'm going to rip off some of these leaves. Rip off. I'm gonna cut them off. I'm not gonna be a barbarian about it. But I don't think all of this can be supported by this root system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, especially this one, like this one's just hanging up. Do you see, let me show you this. This leaf right here, do you see how it's literally just hanging on? And it's below all of the roots. It's below all the roots, so this leaf's gonna go anyway. So let's just get rid of it. And maybe, maybe one more leaf. Yeah, I think this leaf has to go too. Oh, that's kind of painful. But yeah, in my opinion, guys, we have to prune him because we don't want his canopy to be so big that his, his much smaller root system can no longer support it. And he had a new leaf coming in right there and an inflorescence, so those will probably get aborted, but that is totally fine. So we're gonna set him down. Now, where is my cinnamon? Where is my cinnamon? Oh, shit. All right, now guys, what we have to do is we have to seal the wound right oh, there. We're gonna use some good old cinnamon. It's a nice organic fungicide that's going to dry out that wound right there, that open tissue in the plant to prevent any fungal disease, any stem rot, because we don't want that. And here's the substrate, guys. So we have mostly sphagnum moss. We got a little bit of 
orchid bark in there, a little bit of LECA, and some perlite. And I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom just so that he has a nice little cushion to lay down in. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Here we go. I'm going to just, like a little sleeping baby, just let those roots fall right in. I'm going to twirl them a little bit so I can get him a little bit deeper into the pot. There we go. Yes. And now we're just going to plant, guys. We're going to plant, plant, plant until we can't plant no more. I'm gonna, sometimes I talk and I'm like, Jake, why would you even say that? Like, what did you think you were going to accomplish? Like, what did you think you were saying? Like, you need help. You need more therapy than what you're getting. And your therapist needs some therapy after he's done with you. Oh, and there he is, guys. He is back in his pot as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> He's a little bit wobbly in there. I'm probably gonna have to water him, maybe add a little bit more moss on the top, and he's gonna have to continue to root in there once again. He lost a lot of roots, but that is okay because he will bounce back. What am I even doing over it? Okay. Oof. There was so much rootage on those one leaf cuttings, I had to cut off roots because it was just ludicrous. This, this is all the root I cut off. The, oh, Jake, you're going to hell. <laughs> but yeah, like, it, with one little leaf, it didn't need all this root system. So, you know, just, I'll have the Roomba get that later. So this is what we're working with. I put a little bit of cinnamon on the open cuts. And that is the root we're working with. That is more than enough, people, way more than enough. So I have the new uh, vase that he's gonna be in, and it has a little bit of leka on the bottom. And what I'm gonna do for long roots like this, I am going to very slowly just twirl him in there. And that is how you avoid breaking the root. So yes, just, oh <laughs> my God, he just poked me in the eye. He's like, what are you doing to me? So yes, right there just like that and we're just going to fill it in so again just some moss with a little bit of perlite in there a little bit of orchid bark in there just a little tiny bit of leka just a nice chunky root system how is he looking he's looking pretty good so that is the substrate for this cutting I can keep an eye on some of those roots there. The node is out of the substrate, so it won't get any rot there. It's the leaf right there. And I just want to show you real quick. Do you see that eye right there where my nose is? That little eye, that is the node. You want to make sure that doesn't just have a leaf on it. You want to also make sure it has a node or else it's probably not going to become a new plant for you. All right, let's move on to the other boy. Right here. <laughs> You're mine. And I'm just gonna twirly-whirly him in here. Twirly-whirly him in here. Twi Try saying that 10 times fast. Twirly-whirly in here. Twi 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 I can't even do it once. Wait a minute, let me, let me make this a little bit nicer. Okay, yeah, swirly-whirly didn't work, so we're going to tucky-wucky him in. Yeah, tucky wucky seems to work, so yeah. Okay, and where is my moss at? Alright. Alright, and there's also some like clumps of moss. You just want to break those up so their moss isn't too compact. Yeah, you just want to get rid of that, loosen it up, make it nice and loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. Here's some of that. I want it just a little bit more aerated at the bottom because the bottom is going to take a longer time to dry out. Whereas the top is going to dry out much quicker. So it can retain moisture longer, which is why it can have a little bit more moss on top. But I want just a little bit more bark uh, towards like the middle and bottom. Just so that it doesn't dry out unevenly. Essentially, guys, you want Ethereum roots to stay evenly hydrated, evenly lightly moist, for the most part. 
they like to approach dryness, but they don't want to totally dry out like uh, some philodendron uh, can handle drying out. And that's when you start getting root rot, when the roots dry up because there's no more moisture in there. You feel me? So yeah, now I'm just gradually adding a little bit more moss than bark as I make my way towards the tip of the top, making my way uptown. Where is my chopstick? Well, I guess I'll just use this old leaf. This was like his best leaf. I'm just going to uh, get rid of some of those air pockets. You see all those air pockets, guys? Can you sort of see it? We don't want that. See all those air pockets? Roots are gonna dry out. Like I say, people, this is podcast time. This is where you put on a podcast or you put on your favorite Planky for Life YouTube video. <laughs> and you just have a good time doing this. You don't wanna be too hasty with it. You just wanna have a good time. If you have a good time, then your plants are gonna have a good time, right? That's right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there he is, guys. Again, the chunk, the stem is above the substrate. I even stuck my finger right below where I made the cut, just so there's a little bit of an air gap right underneath for the next couple of days, just so that can fully callus over. No moisture, no rot, no bacteria, no fungus, none of that stuff. We'll sit up shop. Huh. There are no big air pockets. I can look at those roots. I can keep a close eye on them to make sure they're doing well. And if they're not, I can take appropriate action. And that's it. That is it. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is just put them in my grow tent, blast them with light, and they're just gonna take off. And they're gonna do fabulous. Okay, now it's time to clean up. But before we clean up, let's just say goodbye to this leaf right here. That. Ugh, that is just so, that's so sad. That was like a perfect leaf, but it had to go for the greater good people. All right, my grow lights are starting to turn off. This one turned off, that one turned off. It's getting dark in here. It's nighttime, guys, so. <laughs> but if you're watching this in the morning and having your morning coffee, then by all means, keep enjoying your morning and have a great day and hope you make good decisions. And I'm just gonna go and I love you. Bye.